In this video, I am going to discuss the reduction of ester, carboxylic acid, ketone and aldehyde using different reducing agent like lithium aluminum hydride, diisobutyl aluminum hydride and sodium borohydride. This is the structure of lithium aluminum hydride, sodium borohydride and dibel. Here you can see this aluminum is connected with 4 hydrogen. Sodium borohydride, boron is connected with 4 hydrogen and dibel, diisobutyl aluminum hydride, aluminum is connected with only 1 hydrogen. These all are hydride donor and this is the way they act as a reducing agent. Lithium aluminum hydride reduce acetic acid to primary alcohol. So here we are getting ethanol. This is ethyl acetate. We know in ester CH3CO part, it comes from carboxylic acid and OC2H5, it's coming from alcohol. So in presence of lithium aluminum hydride, ethyl acetate gives two molecules of alcohol. This CH3CO, which comes from acetic acid, it gives 1 degree alcohol and OC2H5 is gives ethanol. Now acetone in presence of lithium aluminum hydride we get secondary alcohol we are getting isopropanol here and acetaldehyde gives primary alcohol so we are getting ethanol here. Dibel is a mild reducing agent than lithium aluminum hydride. We have seen lithium aluminum hydride convert acetic acid to 1 degree alcohol ethanol. But if we use dibel, the reaction stops in aldehyde. So we get acetaldehyde. Same things takes place with ethyl acetate also. So this acetic acid part converts to aldehyde, acetaldehyde and OC2H5 gives ethanol. Acetone and acetaldehyde in presence of dibel it gives isopropanol same like lithium aluminum hydride and acetaldehyde gives ethanol same like lithium aluminum hydride. Sodium borohydride is a very mild reducing agent. It's milder than dibel. So when we use ethyl acetate or acetic acid, sodium borohydride cannot reduce ethyl acetate or acetic acid. But acetaldehyde gives ethanol, 1 degree alcohol, and acetone gives 2 degree alcohol is isopropanol. Let's explore the mechanism of lithium aluminum hydride reduction. Lithium aluminum hydride is a hydride donor, so H minus attacks to the carbonyl carbon, so nucleophilic addition takes place and we get alkoxide. Final step where we add water, so this O minus abstract the proton from water and it becomes OH, so we are getting the alcohol. What will happen when lithium aluminum hydride reduction takes place in presence of D2O? First step is a nucleophilic addition where the hydride anion attacks to the carbonyl carbon and final step is the abstraction of proton from the water molecule. Now here instead of water we have used heavy water so O minus abstract the deuterium from the heavy water and deuterium make a bond with the oxygen. So this is the product we will be getting. From the previous discussion we have seen lithium aluminum hydride is the strongest reducing agent and sodium borohydride is a mildest reducing agent. Now we can explain the reducing properties from their structure. We can explain the reducing properties from their structure. In the lithium aluminum hydride and diisobutyl aluminum hydride, we can see that aluminum is connected with hydrogen and aluminum hydrogen bond is polar and that is the reason hydrogen can live as a H minus. Now in lithium aluminum hydride, aluminum is connected with 4 hydrogen and dibel aluminum is connected with only 1 hydrogen. It indicates lithium aluminum hydride can donate 4 hydride anion and dibel can donate only 1 hydride anion. So that means lithium aluminum hydride is a stronger reducing agent than dibel. Now in sodium borohydride, boron is connected with 4 hydrogen atoms but it is a mildest reducing agent. The reason is boron hydrogen bond polarity. Aluminum hydrogen bond is very polar but boron hydrogen bond is less polar. Since boron is electron deficient element so that's why boron hydrogen bond cannot break as a H minus. 
and that's why sodium borohydride is a poor hydride donor and it reflects its reducing property.